Hello and welcome to our adventures in East Anglia. Coming up in this video, we are exploring an extremely unique location that was actually used as a top secret military test site during both world wars. Ellie also gets distracted by a cat. Imagine I'm in London. Cat! And we visit one of the best preserved keeps in England as well, just to top it off. So this is the second part of our short series of videos from East Anglia. In the first part, we were up in Norfolk exploring some iconic windmills and Roman forts. And in this one, we are heading down into Suffolk. And we are going to the completely surreal location that is Orford Ness. So Orford Ness is separated from the mainland by a river, so it's only accessible via boat. So join us on our boat trip over to Orford Ness. So here we are on Orford Ness right now, and yeah, we're gonna be exploring this area and see what we see. I have no clue what we're gonna see, I'm very intrigued. But this place is home to a lot of interesting history, including natural history. It is a nature reserve currently today. Uh, it's also home to a lot of military history as well that we can see remnants of off over in the distance. So yeah, let's go have a look. So I'm actually really excited to explore this place because it is home to so many abandoned military buildings that I'll tell you about some of the history of as we pass. And Ellie's found many photo opportunities. No, I love windows. <laughs> That's more specific yes, interest. Yes, it's my interest of taking pictures of windows. <laughs> So when we first landed on Orford Ness, we were told that we had to stick to, to the, the paths as there may be some uh, unexploded ordnance left over uh, that they still haven't found. They've done their best to scour the place, but uh, you know, who knows what's here. Yeah. So I will try not to blow up. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> hey, did you need a toilet? Mmm, lovely toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. So yes, this site has a very long and interesting history as uh, a military testing zone for aviation uh, as well as bombs. It was very closely guarded and very top secret uh, as to all the things that were going on here. So even today, it's still not 100% known what actually went on here. A lot of the structures that we can see uh, is unknown. Um, what they may have been used for because every single person that worked here had to sign the Official Secrets Act and so a lot of the people even today still aren't talking about what sort of experiments went on here so very mysterious indeed but now it is owned by the National Trust and it is a nature reserve so it's kind of been turned by the National Trust into this wetlands area which is why it's kind of hard to navigate it's very um, boggy I mean, you can still see remains of the floors. It's funny how it's completely gone. Oh my Hello? gosh. This was unexpected. This was very unexpected. So what you can see over in the distance behind me is Cobra Mist, which is uh, the old radar station. Unfortunately, we can't go over there today as, as I was saying, it's a nature reserve today and uh, a lot of birds are currently nesting up over in that area. So from here, you get a really great view of everything that we're gonna see. So many things that we can see. We just gotta cross this bridge. Next. What do you know? So we are now just approaching the Bomb Ballistics Building, which was originally built in 1933. And this building was the center of operations for the bombing range that would have been located right here. Uh, and it operated for around 40 years. So let's go get a closer look. So I think it's just behind 
behind me that you can't really see from here, but you've got a great view of from up in that building, is one of the examples of something that even today, they have no clue what it was used for. So, very interesting and very mystifying. I believe that building behind me is uh, an old Coast Guard lookout. It's too bad that we can't get there. Uh, it looks very interesting, but probably classed as unsafe. So now we are approaching our next building stop and this is the Black Beacon. And this building housed radio apparatus and it was also the site of some atomic weapons research that happened here um, during the Cold War period. So there actually used to be a few lighthouses um, located along the edges of Orford Ness as a lot of ships um, sort of beached here, grounded here. Unfortunately, in 2020, the last of those lighthouses was uh, taken down due to uh, the constant erosion that's happening here, which is such a shame. We just missed it. It says, do not touch suspicious objects. What's suspicious? <laughs> Laboratory one, which is just the other side. See, so yeah, that's the laboratory one that you can see behind me. Uh, there are so many more behind me that unfortunately you can't access. A lot of Orford Ness is kind of closed off which is a little bit unfortunate. This place actually gives me a lot of Chernobyl vibes which I visited back in 2019 and it was absolutely incredible. Definitely one of my favourite places I've ever seen. People always laugh at me when I say that. But uh, yeah just these abandoned structures they're just so they're incredible and I just can't describe how surreal it is uh, to just be here and see them, see what we can see. So this has been our exploration of Orford Ness. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, I <laughs> oh, I look so handsome. Oh, of course, as <laughs> always. Yeah. So that was definitely my biggest highlight of the trip. As I said in the video, it was just so surreal to be there. So after this, we got some much needed food and then headed into the town of Orford itself, which is home to the one and only Orford Castle. We could actually see Orford Castle from Orford Ness. Uh, it's off in the distance here. And as you're about to see, it was completely covered in scaffolding when we went. So we couldn't see the exteriors at all. But the scaffolding turned out to be very interesting as they are renovating the castle quite literally to save it from crumbling away. Here we are now at Orford Castle. Children to stay off scaffolding. What type of kid to reach that scaffolding? Can you tell me? <laughs> so here we are now inside Orford Castle. Very echoey. So, so this castle was um, founded by Henry II in 1165. Um, it was originally uh, this keep and then it was surrounded by a big curtain wall which you can see here on this model but the curtain wall has slowly been dismantled and the castle was functioning I think until the 17th century. So let's have a look. What is, what is it? Toilet. Wow. So this castle is undergoing extensive restoration work um, that will probably be going on for many, many years. Hence why the entire exterior is covered in uh, scaffolding, which we can see just outside the windows. And they're doing this because um, the castle is essentially found to be crumbling and uh, obviously would not have lasted much longer, so this restoration is essential yeah. to the survival of this place. So this would have been the upper hall um, of the keep. Now it is uh, the museum part, so you can see all these interesting artifacts. And um, this is where all the really important people would have been staying. But this keep is extremely 
extremely unique. You know what? I think it's really good here. What? How they, they put this in front of that board. So, you know, if you want to read, you only leave half of it here and then you go on the other side and read the other half of it. Mm -hmm. Here we are at the top of the keep. Obviously, not an incredible view today as we can basically just see scaffolding. See so many abandoned laboratories and buildings. Says you can see all of these amazing views, yeah. which I'm trying very hard to see. <laughs> Keep trying, you'll get there. Yes, <laughs> look past the, My uh... vision will get better <laughs> the more I stare at it. Lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, this just proves how recently. That lighthouse went on Orford Ness. Uh, it's actually much bigger than it looks from the outside. There's a lot to see, uh, a lot of small chambers and uh, dark rooms to get into, which I think are made even darker by the fact that no light can get in the windows due to the scaffolding. Literally can't see what's inside it yeah, at all. Like I can think this, if, if you don't tell me where we are, I can imagine I'm in London. <gasps> Cat! <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> And with that distraction, that ends our exploration of Orford Castle and therefore that summarizes the video. In the next video, we are gonna be heading back up to Norfolk with a goal to try and spot some seals along the Norfolk coast. And we're also gonna explore some prehistoric mines as well. So yes, please subscribe if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.